Hey, it's Jacob. Every day we bring you the best videos around, and today we've got the world's largest EDM festival, Better Living with Emoji. We cultivate and support them. And Stuart Scott's inspiring fight. I now have a responsibility to also not ever give up. That's not her cheese stick. When you die, that does not mean that you lose to cancer. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and in the manner in which you live. ESPN host Stuart Scott accepted the Jimmy V Award for Perseverance at the ESPYs last week, and he gave this moving speech just five days after a stint in the hospital where he faced multiple surgeries and several complications. But sadly, these challenges aren't new to Stuart. He's been battling a rare form of cancer for seven years. I hear from people every day. He's on TV, and he's doing what he loves. They take strength from the fact that he has not been paralyzed by his illness and that he's decided to live life on his own terms. The stock is super inspiring. It captures the ups and the downs of Stewart's journey so well, I can't recommend it enough. This week, I'm in Belgium, where Tomorrowland, one of the world's biggest EDM festivals, is underway. This is the after movie from last year's edition, which had over 400 acts, brought in more than 180,000 people, and looks absolutely incredible. The video alone has racked up over 70 million views. The festival is so big that this year they had to split it up over two weekends with massive names like Avicii, Armin van Buren, and these guys. Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike are one of the hottest DJ sets in the game. This video, which they released earlier this year, captures a bit of the hedonistic spirit of Tomorrowland. If Belgium isn't in the cards for you, a live stream starts this Friday. We've got the link for you below, and our Music Monday playlist this week is packed with all the Tomorrowland artists you need to know. Start it up right here, or after the show. As the principal dancer of the YouTube Nation dance crew, I know how competitive it can get to get noticed within the group. So I know what these guys are going through. When a lot of people think about ballet, they think, you know, tutu, ballerina, point shoes. It can be soft and beautiful and elegant, but it can be sexy and rough and defined. Cristiano is one of six nominees up for the prestigious Telstra Ballet Dancer Award at the Australian Ballet. They've released profiles on each contender and you can vote for your favorite. Voting's open right now. The link's in the description below. If all of your toothpaste is mysteriously disappearing and your soap dispenser contains more water than actual soap, it sounds like you might have a bad case of the evil roommate. Smoothie Freak, aka Akilah Hughes, just posted this short about everyone's least favorite archetype. If you were planning on having a little pick-me-up after work tonight, kiss those plans goodbye. She's drinking your stuff. Why discuss artwork in the common living space when you can just hang up whatever tacky pictures you want while no one is looking? Where did you get a picture of a donut? It's not even ironic. I... oh... Oh my god. If you're wondering who provided the VO, it's Akila's friend, comedian Matthew Gehring. Bye. Bye! You still owe me rent. We're huge fans of Akila, and we actually got the chance to interview her for our Tumblr a few weeks back when she came in. The link is right here and also in the description. Over 30 years ago, the river island of Majuli in India was just a barren sandbar. Now, it's home to the Malai Forest, a nearly 1,400-acre reserve with tigers, elephants, rhinos, and it's all because of one dude. When Jadav Payang was 16, he noticed that there was no natural habitat for the animals, so he decided to transform the island by planting trees himself. <laughs> He literally planted the entire thing with his hands, by himself. It is larger than Central Park. You have got to see this. Hey, it's Ernest. I'm the senior video curator with YouTube Nation. I found this awesome video from Dissolve Footage. It's like a nature documentary, but with emoji. Emoji may sometimes confuse us, may aggravate us, and yet emoji have become, for better or worse, integral to the way we communicate, live, and behave. We use them as accessories to enhance our style and reflect our moods and personalities. Hey, thanks, Ernest. You may have noticed a cool transition in today's show. That one was submitted by Trevor. Thank you so much for that. We want you to submit your own. We got a video with our graphic designer, Vera, teaching you how to do it. It's easy. There's a link right here and down in the description. Now play us out, Farrakh Don and Redondo. Nothing you can do.